Calibration ensures that your 3D printer is aligned and functioning well to produce high-quality objects with a desirable fit and finish. Snapmaker J1 is built with several guided calibration routines to make this process simple and repeatable. Let's take a look. J1 will guide you through several calibration processes, some which may be familiar, like bed leveling and nozzle offset, and some which may be new if this is your first IDEX printer. IDEX stands for Independent Dual Extruder and describes a type of 3D printer that has two extruders or nozzle heads that can print with two different colors or materials at the same time. This allows for the creation of a multicolored, multi-material, or duplicated objects in a single print. Both extruders must be aligned to the same bed height, as well as to each other, here you can see that the right nozzle is printing too high, causing the object on that side to fail. The XY offset routine and offset calibration test print ensure the extruders are well aligned. Finally, J1 supports faster printing thanks to the vibration compensation routine, which tunes the printer based on a variable speed test print. If this is your first time powering on J1, the setup wizard will walk you through each calibration step in sequence. Once your printer is set up for the first time, you can optionally rerun any individual calibration routine via the touchscreen. During calibration, you will need the wire brush and 2mm hex wrench from the J1 toolkit. J1 calibrates each nozzle to the bed heater instead of to the bed itself. Follow any prompts carefully to ensure you remove and install the bed at the appropriate time. The bed and nozzles will heat up to account for thermal expansion, so they accurately replicate conditions during an actual print. Leveling relies on electrical contact between the nozzle and the bed, so the tip must be free of filament before proceeding. J1 will prompt you to adjust the bed level manually using the front two knobs. As it continues to touch off the bed, it will indicate a successful adjustment, allowing you to proceed to the next step. This step will look similar to bed leveling, except that we will be adjusting the height of the right nozzle instead of moving the bed itself. Loosen the two screws on the right extruder using the hex wrench. This will allow the nozzle height to be adjusted using the silver thumb wheel. Clean both nozzles as they will again probe the bed heater. After the left extruder checks the height of the right bed, the right extruder will do the same. At this point, J1 will prompt you to move the nozzle height until it indicates a successful adjustment. Tighten both screws to complete the process. J1 has a very unique process for calibrating both extruders in the X and Y directions automatically. A special probe area in the middle of the bed detects when each nozzle makes electrical contact with an edge. When combined with the current position of the nozzle, J1 will automatically calculate the correct offsets. Other than cleaning the nozzles, there is no manual intervention required for this step. Now it's time to test all the prior calibration steps by printing a test model that uses both the left and right extruder. J1 will start by printing a prime line from the left extruder, then a few skirts before starting the actual model. If the first layer looks too squished or is not making good adhesion, you can adjust the Z offset manually using the adjust screen. You will notice the left and right extruders take turns printing since they are printing on the same model. Once the model is finished printing, remove it and try to snap the outer squares off. If they break off cleanly, XY calibration is successful. Otherwise, you may need to rerun the last calibration step and test again. Getting fast print times from an IDEX printer is tricky, since the added mass of the second extruder system limits maximum acceleration. J1 employs input shaping, which compensates for mechanical resonance to minimize ghosting or ringing artifacts on your prints. You may have heard of input shaping from the popular Clipper firmware. 
The test model is designed to magnify any ghosting in both the X and Y directions at various speeds. You will hear the printer change sound as it steps through each printing mode. After the print is complete, choose the best looking X and Y segments to tell J1 how to get the best results in future prints. Calibration is now complete. Happy printing! If you backed J1 on Kickstarter like I did, you know it's been a long wait to go hands-on with the printer. I was fortunate to be part of the beta testing process. All the different testers had different backgrounds and approaches to testing J1, but overall we found the Snapmaker team to be receptive and responsive to our feedback. I finally received my personal machine, and aside from some early teething issues, I think it will shape up to be a very capable machine. If you have questions or issues with the calibration process, or have suggestions for other videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Thanks! Thank you.